Uh, my name's Scott Warner. I am the CEO of Gig. I love shoes and cereal and, you know, the Dodgers, right? Um, I, love, I love my family. I, I, anything family-oriented, uh, we have a very, very good time together. But I love coaching. I coach football and baseball. Um, head coach of my, my seventh grade uh, boys football team and then putting together a solid all-star baseball team with my 10-year-old. And I have to admit, I, I recently learned about a game called Fortnite. I've actually gotten really good at it. Uh, takes me takes me back, uh, lets me be a kid again. But I, I have a lot of fun with my boys. We play, we play, we try to play. You know, a couple times a week together. Um, if mom will let us, my go-to karaoke song is without question a whole new world from the Aladdin soundtrack. I nailed that. In fact, I sang it to a bunch of girls in the back of a bus when I was in ninth grade. My wife and family still make fun of me for it. But that was the beginning. That was the beginning. I, I might have been like the soprano version of, of Jasmine, but I was more focused on Atlant Aladdin. <laughs> I can't believe I just shared that. Yeah, so I've, I've always loved entrepreneurship. I mean, I'm grateful for parents that taught me the importance of being an entrepreneur at a very young age. I mean, I was out selling newspaper subs subscriptions as a kid, you know, door to door when I was like 11, 12 years old and learned quickly the excitement of sales and, and closing a deal. And I've done uh, and built many companies, uh, but but you know there was a point where I was ready to go after you know my real dream, which uh, was building a software company. I wanted to build technology to help connect people, to help do some good in the world, but really more importantly, help people that have businesses get their get the word out. Originally, Gig was built for the music industry to help you know artists be more efficient in getting the word out about a new single, a new upcoming album or a tour. And we built different strategies and software to help them message this uh, by leveraging their greatest marketing team, which is their fans. We built a platform to help businesses get the word out about whatever it is that they're trying to push using social campaigns, fun calls to action. The gig is essentially a microphone to help you ampl amplify your message in a very organic, special, unique way. starting this company. I was in my prime at my former business. I was making stupid, ungodly amounts of money. Uh, I mean, which is all relative, but to me, it was a tremendous amount of money. Uh, and was just crazy enough to, to make the plunge uh, into this crazy idea that I had called Gig. And um, it was exhilarating. It was terrifying. It became really terrifying after I had blown through millions of dollars of both my own and, and my investors. That's when I really learned what I was all about. And uh, that, was, that, was a that was nothing but growth for me. So, yeah. Uh, relationships are literally the number one reason for success at Gig thus far. There's a lot of, I can't believe this happened moments. Um, you never know. The guy standing next to you who may not be the, you know, the top dog in the room or, or may not, maybe young and learning the ropes. You may not realize that the guy that he knows, his best friend happens to be a guy that is the perfect fit for what you need to help push your business along, right? Um, you know, how I got introduced to uh, my new partner came from an investment meeting that I did not want to have. In fact, I pitched my company to him. Then he tore me apart. I think I almost turned the table over because I was so frustrated with how it was going, literally. Um, and, but it was good. And I, I think it's, it became good because I was very open about my frustrations and what I truly was looking for. And this guy led me to this individual. Um, you know, he, he, he said, I can see that I struck a chord with you, Scott. Um, and I'm just trying to be real with you. But I think I know who to introduce you to. And I'm just like, I don't want to talk to him not interested. And he's like, no, you want to meet him. I'm like, nope. And he goes, yes, you want to meet him. And here's why. And he kind of told me, and I'm like, fine, I'll meet with him. And next thing I know, here we are. So yeah, you never know. You never, ever know. And I've had plenty of moments like that, right? 